Toronto FC is back at BMO Field. It's a Sunday afternoon affair, 4 p.m. Eastern time, as the Reds take on New York City FC. Gareth Wheeler alongside the coach, Terry Dunfield. The hat. Let us know what you think about the hat. Bit of a Bad rough, hair day, Terry. Rough hair day. Coaching early this morning as well. It's so hot here. How beautiful is it in Toronto It's right now? Wheeler-esque, and with my <laughs> pale skin, I probably need that hat as well. This hat's a bit tame for you, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, let's get down to business, though, because New York City FC, third place in the Eastern Conference. They're on 44 points. TFC just on 23. Remarkably, 21 points separate these two sides. But when you look at the talent, the players, the makeup of the two teams, there really isn't much that separates these two teams. Yeah, that's hard to believe. I think you've seen two of the most stacked rosters go at it on Sunday. What a game this is going to be, by the way. And, and I think it goes to show how good t New York City have been in that first half of the year. I think TFC are starting to hit their strides, starting to build up some momentum. So I think it'll be a different game to the first matchup in the season. Unbeaten six matches in a row for TFC. And there's a benefit heading into Sunday's game. They were able to rest Javinko, Vasquez, Vanderveel. Bono didn't play either on that trip to Vancouver midweek. So all those very important players should be very fresh come Sunday. Yeah, I think Alex Bono, I think he'll come in confident. I thought he was awesome in Atlanta. Yes. And and your big dogs, they come back a little bit fresh. I think Vasquez and Javinko will enjoy just staying at home, recovering, recuperating. And, and I know big experienced players like that love playing in big games. Well, TFC has three games in the next six days, so you don't want to get ahead Including of yourself. Including the cup final as well. Bingo. What so, a time to be a professional footballer. Oh, 100%. It, that's why it made so much sense to rest Vasquez, to rest Javinko and not make them travel to the West coast of Canada. With that being said, because of what happened at the end of the game against Atlanta United, Chris Mavinga will miss this Sunday. He gets an extra, an additional game suspension as well. I think that's kind of harsh considering other things we've seen across Major League Soccer and how they've dished out supplementary discipline. So, so that's the negative, Terry. Aro, he's a question mark with the hamstring. He's still being evaluated. But some good news on the injury front is Drew Moore, who hasn't played since April 14th, is back in full training. And he's in Attention for a spot in the 11 this weekend. Talk about another player that'll give you a huge lift. He's been out training on the pitch for two, three weeks now, starting to get up to fitness, and I think he'll feel like a new signing. I, I think individually he's a top class defender, but he's that leader at the back that really brings the group together collectively. No kidding, coming back at the right time. Lucas Janssen, the player that they just picked up from Argentina, uh, he player. has not yet arrived, Terry. He's dealing with some visa issues, but will give Greg Vanny a little bit more flexibility. Good on one on one play, can play in the wing can play centrally as well in attack so more options for Greg Vanny moving forward but it's about this weekend uh, New York City FC of course their talismans David Villa he hasn't played since the last time these two teams faced one another back on June 24th he may be returning this weekend but it's really Morales isn't it eight goals 12 assists on the year he really pulls the strings for this New York City team yeah, I think Morales has taken his game to another level with Villa out I think he's enjoyed being the main man he's very mobile he's got a ton of energy I think he's given a little bit of freedom as well to go and hunt the ball. So it'll be important to pick your moments to go and, and tackle him and, and follow him at some points. But also, you don't want to become stretched. So some important decisions to make for Michael Bradley in midfield. I also like the midfielder, Ring. I think he's yes. a top-cast player. And since the new manager, Domi, has come in, I think he's unshackled Ring as well. Absolutely. New York City FC, in terms of their midfield and attack, I think they're very good. I do think they're a little bit suspect at the back. And especially now playing at BMO Field. Look, it's a completely different game playing at Yankee stadium they're playing on an actual proper football pitch like we have here in Toronto yeah, I think that bigger pitch and TFC's methodology will suit TFC and and their fullbacks at New York City love to get forward and if TFC can switch that ball across the park break at pace and get in behind their fullbacks that's an area they might be looking to isolate gonna be a busy stretch for Toronto FC after games at home against New York City FC and the Canadian Championship second leg against Vancouver on Wednesday they travel to take on San Jose next Saturday on the West Coast one game at a time. The good news is the last time Toronto FC played New York at BMO Field, it was last July. TFC played New York off the pitch to a tune of a 4-0 final. We'll see you out there at BMO Field 4 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. You can also watch on TSN, listen on TSN 1050.